want to introduce yourself? <laughs> no, you tell me. Okay, I'll say. This is Franco Falsini. I'm very strange, and you know, you know I'm not. But anyway, <laughs> I'm Matt Mondanelli. I'm a big fan of uh, his Franco's work, and I uh, over the years, and he's played in a lot of different projects, um, including Sensations Fix and the Antennas. And you ran a label called Interactive, Interactive Test. Test that put out House and Techno. Techno and progressive, progressive. more than house. I have some records there. I might give you one if you want. That'd be amazing. That'd be great. Yeah. I was looking at some of the stuff that you put out on YouTube of, from the interactive test. Yeah. And I saw um, DJ Mickey. DJ Mickey was a well-known Italian DJ. And I produced together with him some Those of the stuff. Yeah. yeah, some of the stuff. Writing song too and, you know, and, 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 and playing too. Yeah. So, DJ Mickey had, was one, then there was another, there was two or three big DJ, they are, they are really big now in Italy too. We work with those guys and those, you know, what you heard. We actually invented the, the fact, you know, the progressive, because I remember we used to talk, some English journalists came in, in Florence because they, some people in England have, had imported this and really liked it. And they wanted to know what kind of music, what kind of genre. Oh, they want to know what it was. And I told them, look, Mickey, tell them, Mickey, let's tell them there is progressive. They're going to they're gonna go for it. Yeah. Be why is progressive? Because for me, progressive is just something that progresses. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? It doesn't, yeah, of course. No, I understand okay. what you mean. Yeah. Instead of go A and B, you know, it just progresses, you know. Yeah, and yeah. you just keep on progressing without going, looking <laughs> back. So you progress. So it could be any genre, you know. And that was the idea. And that's what I, also a DJ is doing, is doing a progression of things, is mixing it in a certain way. The Sensations Fix stuff to me is, is like taking just a little bit of the melodic parts of Kraut Rock, you know, yeah. and making it repetitive yeah, not and only trans like. That, but just the ideas, the fact that you could use one thing, just very, very sequenced synthesizer. Yeah. We would just use that, and instead of just doing an hour of that, we, that would be a part, and then we will play guitar. Yes. Or we would use elements of the, what yeah, the German would do. elements, yeah, yeah. Yeah, German, you know, because a menu was equipment, too. It's a challenge to write something that it could be pop, could be rock, or could be whatever, you know? Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's so great. I agree on the, on the start that that wasn't so much uh, progressive as much as, I don't know how, what you might call it. It doesn't matter music. really what you call it. I mm -hmm. think it's, just, really it's just music. Yeah. <laughs> it's just music. I agree. It doesn't really matter. And, and you have a record of the Sensations Fix material, unreleased stuff, coming out on... Revenge. On Revenge. Mixes are unreleased. Mixes, okay. For example, mixes. Uh, on Revenge, Fragments of Light is, is, is on Revenge, that, but it's not the mix that is out, because I have the tape, so... You know, for some reason. Well, thanks so much. I don't want to keep you waiting, but it's okay, man. It's cool. <laughs> that was great. It was Let's... an honor to talk to you. I love your music Let, yeah, so I'll, much. I'll smoke one out of there. Could I? Do you think I could borrow one? You an extra one?